Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rekah, Hakudash. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, the other apostles of the Great Millstone, also known as GMS. Citation to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth, pushing his word of sincerity and truth. And Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. This is your mother, but young man from GMS, Mississippi. But in transit topic, going into consistency is key, you know, because the race is not given unto the swift, and that's why in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, it says, those that endure unto the end, the same shall be saved, because the main point is to be consistent, because with consistency brings forth a, cer a certain level of expertise, you know, with consistency brings forth a certain level of resistance, Hence, at the end, the end result, you have built yourself up in whatever particular task it may be. Even when it comes to being a studious, if you're continuously reading, then you're building up your vocabulary, you're building up your understanding based upon the pages that you're reading, or whatever piece of material that it may be. If you're consistently working at something whether it's an art or a craft and you're consistent with it meaning resilient you do it regardless then you build up a certain level of expertise when it comes to that particular craft and being a man or woman after the mind and the heart of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is the same when you practice continuously doing those things that are well pleasing unto the Lord, you ultimately do them naturally, which makes you a semi expert in being of the righteous and in, be in, in being of a son and or daughter of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you do those things that are well pleasing unto him, and it started out as something that you had to think about. You know, you had to put forth an effort. Oh, I mean, no, I can't do this. Or contemplating within your mind on what is the right decision versus what is the wrong decision to make. And then you routed it back to the spirit. You say, okay, what's the spiritual decision to make? Because you understand that the spiritual, the, the spiritual decision that you make, that's the decision that the Heavenly Father wants you to make. Not the, the, the decision of the flesh not the decision of the carnal mind, not the decision of the people of this world. So then you build forth a certain level of spiritual expertise in serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But it goes back into consistency because you have to try things out and prove thine own soul. Therefore, understanding what is beneficial versus what is not beneficial for it. But you can only do that by practice. You know, if you ever played a sport, let's just take basketball for an example. When you first began to practice your layup, like you didn't understand how that ball, the basketball's impact against the backboard could affect how you did your layup. The first few times, certain you came in too strong and it, it boing, 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 you know, thing bounced back to the free throw line. But then through continuous practice of the layup, you learned to get that soft touch that was just enough to have an, the impact to bounce off the glass and to go into the hoop. Because nothing that is of a fine skill came without the true essence of practicing first. So no righteous man or righteous woman that you read of in the Holy Bible just happened by chance of them being righteous and happened through the exercise of having faith and then ultimately having works and the works of what we read about. We read about the consistency of the Heavenly Father's elect in the Holy Bible. 
so that can be an example for us that shall live after them because there are consequences and stories for those that lived ungodly and those that lived righteous. So those particular judgments, the most High has set before us, all of us, just like when you read in the book of, uh, the book of Joshua, you know, he's giving you an option for as this day, or as for my house, we shall serve the Lord. Why? Because you understand that those that do the opposite have had horrible things happen unto them and their families. With the consistency in serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah brings forth unbreakable faith. It brings forth a certain level of expertise when it comes to being exercised in the words of the Lord. Because then you begin to do things naturally. Second nature, so to speak. And not having to think too heavily upon what thus said the Lord. Because you've exercised yourself in it enough that you understand what his true re requirements are. Now, can you still make the wrong decision? Yes, you can. You know, but ultimately, you don't let your sins weigh you down. And you don't let the bad outweigh the good. You know, you take pride in those small wins and for those so-called losses you utilize those as your learning experience and doing better adjusting and pivoting because you understand now okay that doesn't work you know or well, that doesn't work for me it's not beneficial because in order for the elect when you read the book of second edris the elect to be crowned by yahweh shah you know, we have to be consistent because that, you know, Ezra asked the angel, you know, who are those people that the Lord was placing the crowns upon their head? He said, those are the ones that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So when you stand stiffly, that means that, that you're consistent, you're resilient when it comes to serving the Lord, when it comes to, to, to studying to show thyself approved. When it comes to blessed is he that readeth. When it comes to he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. When it comes to occupy till I come, as it is written, meaning working continuously in the vineyard of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, our Lord. You know, that's what it's all about. Everybody wants the, the actual benefit and the reward of, 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 of what the hard work and laborious tasks produce, you know, but nobody really wants to go through that fire of laboring continuously and consistently, you know, and, and that's on the carnal and the spiritual. When you look at things that are accomplished in the world, you know, unless somebody had an, an inheritance or won the lottery, what they possess are the fruits of their labors, you know. So what we're going to going to possess which is an everlasting kingdom being joint heirs with our Lord and Savior Savior Yahweh Shai you know we have to produce good works that we may end up ultimately with good fruits so most eyes will you receive some edification out of this until next time I say shalom